help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. Right now we have Carter from Holiday. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, Carter. How about yourself? Uh, I'm a little tired because our booth has been really busy these days. Well, that's fantastic. I, yeah. love, I love to hear that. So tell us a little bit about Holiday. Uh, yes, uh, our brand is, uh, we, are, we are focusing on uh, smart AI glasses right now, and oh. we are promoting the world's first proactive AI glasses with invisible display. And we are, we already started a pre-sale on our website, and we will start launching late, in gen late January and start shipping uh, starting from late March. So our glasses is the world's lightest display glasses ever. It is, weighs only 35 grams and is like half of the weight of most smart glasses and uh, even lighter than most sunglasses for that matter. Okay. And our battery life lasts longer than 12 hours and our frame is compatible with most prescription lenses. So that makes our smart glasses the perfect everyday glasses you would we would want to wear. Because what we believe is if your smart glasses is not first a good, very good pair of glasses, no one is going to wear it. So it doesn't matter what good features you have. So you have to pass the bar first, and that is the weight, the duration, and the design. Like as you can see, is a very sleek glasses. Yeah. So wearing you're wearing right them now. right now. Yes. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So they they are kind of a cool, cool looking glasses. And yeah. do, you, do you have prescription lens in yours right now? Uh, no. Right now, I'm okay. I'm leaving them oh. open. <laughs> but I can just get any uh, prescription lenses at, uh, at any power you want. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that's very cool. And as you can see, the display is completely invisible to the others. You cannot see I'm wearing a smart glass. You would think I'm just wearing a very retro style glasses, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, Because the magic is we have a secret display uh, right here on the right side of the frame. Okay. Uh, can, does the camera see this? Or like yeah, if you look, put it right here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we, yeah, there you go. I think you can kind of point to it, see the camera right, or the display right there. Okay. Okay, it should work. Uh, so right here is our sec uh, tech secret. Okay. Uh, it's called Digital Window, and okay. it is a compact display module in front of a micro LED display. And it beams the image directly into your eye, and you can see a virtual image right here. That is about 3.5 inches big in uh, screen, monochrome, uh, monochrome only green, uh, but it's very clear, it's crystal clear, and it uh, doesn't matter what your myopia power is, you can see it. And uh, it is, it can, the image can only seen by, be by, seen by you, because uh, the light directly beams into your eye. Uh, it's not going to anywhere else, so like no one can see the screen you're seeing, and it's totally private, it's totally discreet, and uh, it, can de uh, de it, can demo, uh, it can demo all kinds of features. Uh, it's demoing right now, and they can, it has all kinds of features which I'm about to introduce later. So, I mean, does it, would it show up on, like, if I put a piece of paper in front of it, would you see it as well? Uh, yes. Uh, you, you would see a very small dot on a piece of paper. Okay. But, our but eyes in your are, eye. Yeah, but our eyes, like, are, have very, has very complicated structure, right? Yeah. So, uh, the light just uh, d uh, directly display on your retina, and your brain is going to complete the rest, and you see the virtual image right in front of you. That's incredible. Yeah, uh, and with that, because we can do, that, we have that technology. We ca we have very high energy efficiency, and that is why we can do uh, twelve hours of battery life compared to competitors that can only do like two or three hours with display with continuous use. And our frame can go as light as thirty five grams, and that, that is like what like two cookies, and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> two cookies. Exactly. <laughs> I love the uh, analogy. So do you? Uh um, you said it's in monochrome right now, or is it? Yes, oh, it is. Okay, it's monochrome. Okay, okay, but you still get. A tr I mean, if somebody sent me a message, a text message, I would mm -hmm. just see it right there. Exactly, and that is one of our features. That is, uh, you send, you get the most important notifications. Uh, we have a very. Uh, comprehensive uh, notification screening system uh, because uh, you already have so many screens, right? right? So you have a smartphone, you have your a computer, you have uh, your smartwatch even. So what, why do we want a fourth screen in front of you that is a near eye display? For us, what we believe is if we can make your notifications, we, only, we push the most important notifications in front of you and you can check it with a very simple lookup uh, action like right now. Sorry, uh, I need to put it into yep. the... Yeah. Like right now, I quickly check my message. 
that 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 can make sure I never miss any important messages. So you just looked up and then it activated. So it's almost like a gesture type of scenario. Uh, it, it actually is. Uh, I, I can activate through here. I can activate through the control ring. I'm now taking right now, and I I can also control it with the tempo I control. I see. Okay. Uh, the, it is basically always on if I want it to be. Okay. Uh, but because it is out of your main field of view, so I don't see it when I'm looking at you. I got gotcha. I see it when I look up a little bit. I, I see. I quickly check the message, I go back to the conversation. When I'm talking to you, I don't want to text like uh, show up on your face, right? It's uh, distracting, it's disrespectful. Uh, so I will, we put it on the uh, out of your main, of main field of view. It's like on the upper right of your field of view. So no more having the excuse that you didn't see the message to pick up milk on exactly. the way home. Yeah, it would, would always be right there. Yeah, if you miss the message again, <laughs> your wife is going to uh, kick you up. Kick you up. <laughs> this is really, really fascinating. Yeah, uh, notification is like only a very small features of ours. Uh, that we use that to help our users to uh, stay away from their phones like for too many times, like get rid of phone addictions, right? Because you're not missing any message, then don't check your phone so many times right, every day. Right. Uh, but, but our most amazing features are related to the secret power you can have with this invisible display. Uh, with AI, uh, with AI models uh, that uh, we generated our own AI agent, and it, ha it can help you to facilitate conversations, it can help you to learn new knowledges, and do a lot of things that uh, you can't even imagine before. For example, some for, let's start some, from some basic ones. For example, you can have a teleprompter in here, and it, it can work as a cheat sheet uh, in your presentations, in your speeches, in your interviews, such as ours right now. You know, uh, and uh, we have AI translation. Uh, so basically. Basically, when you travel abroad, you are talking to a person who speaks a foreign language. Uh, it will show up at like a subtitle to in, in, in your real life, and like a live subtitle. So when everyone has smart glasses in the future, no one has to learn a second language ever because you only need to speak your own language and the other people with the smart glasses will understand you. Right. And that's a bright word, right? Right. And uh, the most uh, amazing feature of ours is the proactive AI agent. The reason we call it proactive is because it does not require your command your, or your prompt to provide information support. Uh, for example, when you use Siri, uh, let's say uh, it's AI, when you use this AI functions, you have to activate it. You have to say, hey, Siri, right? You have to activate it, and then you have to ask a question. Like, for example, uh, where, uh, what time is my alarm, right? Uh, uh, send me alarm. Uh, help me set a, an alarm at nine o'clock, and then ask w what time was the was the alarm. Like it, it is a uh, conversation based. You have to ask the AI directly and or give the prompt to the AI agent directly. But for us, uh, we believe the uh, more intuitive way to interact with the AI is the AI can proactively know what you want and. Uh, you can analyze the conversation, analyze your surroundings, and provide assistance uh, directly and uh, proactively instead of waiting for your command. And because, like, for example, I'm having a conversation with you, there's no time for me to activate the AI and ask a very right. complicated question. Right. But AI, what AI can do is it can analyze the conversation we are having right now and uh, find, find out like, when I need information support. For example, it can be a question. Let's say we are talking about the smart glasses industry, and you ask me, how many smart glasses got sold last year in 2024? Yep. So let's say I don't have that information on hand right now. The AI can help me answer that question based on the information he so and is search it, on the internet. So it, is it active right away? So uh, is, no. If I, okay. Uh, no. Uh, uh, so do you have to like tap your glass or how? Uh, you have to activate the AI. Uh, you have to activate AI for you to start proactively help you with right. your questions because right. uh, there is a privacy issue at stake, right? When you do I not, see. when I you see. do not want the AI to listen to you, you can turn it off. You have to proactive activate it. So for is you it to something like working. if you were in a meeting and you said, "Hey, would you mind if my virtual AI?" joined us in the meeting and they mm -hmm. okayed that, then you could turn it on and it would be actively exactly. helping you. Okay. Uh, or like uh, you can do it just uh, in an easier way. You can put it on your quick access menu and uh, you just use your control ring to quickly access it and open it. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's entire, entirely up to our user to open uh, to decide when to use the AI or when not to use the AI. Okay. But when it is up, it will proactively analyze the conversation and uh, continuously provide new information and uh, check your facts. So it can work like like a bullshit detector, like when someone is lying to me, AI is gonna make it's gonna tell me what a real fact is. Right, uh, right. Even even it might be not a, it might not be an intentional lie. It might like I forgot well, 
where is the capital of Cambodia, right? Well, sure. There's all there's all kinds of ways. You don't know when a president was born exactly. or passed away. You just haven't, yeah. you know. I know I grab my cup of coffee because it's exactly. like having having coffee at the coffee shop with a bunch of guys. Or, mm -hmm. And when I'm at home, this this happens all the time. When we're googling facts all the time because you know I knew that this what thing happened back then. But yeah. what year was that? How many yeah, people yeah, did yeah. it impact? Yeah. Um, Having that information just beam directly into your eye is incredible. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I do that a lot. Yeah. I, ha I constantly have to Google facts. But when I do that, I uh, right now, uh, in the past, we have to go to a computer. And that right. is even worse. Right. But right now, I have to take out my smartphone right. and uh, turn on the Safari or Chrome and yep. uh, type in my question. Yep. But with a proactive AI, it would just continuously uh, s support you with more new information, yep. and you can. You, I, all I need to do is just to look up and see it, remember it, and that is a great learning experience as well. All right. Because the best way to learn is when we need the information the most, and we get it immediately, and that is when we remember it the, the most. Well, unfortunately, Carter, our time has come to an end. But uh, That's okay. how do we uh, how do we find out more information about Holiday? Uh, go check out our website. It's HolidayGlobal.com. Or and that's H A L L I D A Y. -A -Y. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Like James Halliday from the movie gotcha. Ready Player One. Yeah. Great, great thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Thank you very, very much. Good. Check that out, everybody. This is a very, very innovative. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. The Tech Podcast Network CES 2025 coverage is executive produced by Adam Barker. Technical director is Kirk Corliss. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Tracy Ingram, Xerxes Goddard. Brandy Jackson, and Aviva Cram. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, and Scott Ertz. Studio and equipment are provided by Plug Kids Productions. The TPN Studio Executive is Todd Cochran. This has been a Tech Podcast Network production, copyright 2025.